In these disruptive, divisive times, it's easy to see a lot that seems broken, but not so clear what is ours to do in all that. In these upended days, many people feel they've lost their way or they're more concerned with well-being or a deeper search for meaning. But if we search for meaning out there, the very eye that's searching can fool us. Yet whether we sense it or not, there is a way to make our way in this world that is more or less graceful, effective, fortuitous. There's a way to sail well, for example, in accordance with the wind and the waves and the conditions of the day. A way to sand wood with the grain rather than against it. A way to hold a deeply connected conversation with a person rather than being distant or dismissive. To lead according to this way is to be one with the people and conditions around us. To be able to sense what's ready to happen and bring it through ourselves into the present. It is both the easiest and hardest way to lead. It's easiest in that it feels so good. It feels like you at your best, you on purpose. There's a kind of effortless effort to it or a sense of flow. It feels right. It's hardest in that it calls on us to get out of our own way, to flip or invert the tendency of the ego to use all this to serve itself. And yet, this flip to open up a boundless whole sense of self is what it is to grow up and wake up to the truth of who we are. It is our way. The flips of Zen leadership, or what we also call healthy, embodied, agile leadership, or HEAL, they show the way. Most leadership programs will give another tool to the ego, another skill, another mindset. Or even a mindfulness program might help the ego relax or be able to watch its thoughts and emotions. But Zen leadership goes further. It's going to take aim at the ego to not only see it, but to see through it, to a boundless sense of self, whereby we can start to use the ego as a tool, not a tyrant. Combine this with the leadership skills most needed today, and you have a very powerful program. Skills like how to sense opportunities rather than problems, how to balance seeming opposites to the greater truth or goodness that's possible when we optimize both. How to feel into our own energies for when it's right to deploy this one or that one. How to connect with people and be able to influence them from a place of one withness rather than control. And how to bring a future ready to happen through us into the present. These are the things that we'll be covering in this foundational course.